Leading in and out of a toolpath is a crucial part of successful machining. When done incorrectly, the surface finish can be affected, or worse, tool breakage can occur. To allow leads to be applied in areas where geometry interferes, Autodesk PowerMill 2023 now has the option to automatically trim toolpath segments. Let's look at two examples of how this feature can be used to resolve issues. This first example is a mold cavity, where we've isolated an area to be machined with a raster strategy. As we can see, the settings for lead in and lead out in our first toolpath have been set to a vertical arc with a 3mm radius and a 45 degree angle to allow the tool to enter and exit the cut. Looking closer now at the toolpath, we can see a section which has the lead in and lead out applied. But in another section, these have not been applied at all. By attaching the tool to the toolpath segment, notice at the end of the segment the tool is close to geometry, which in this case is a vertical wall, which does not allow enough room to apply the selected leads without gouging. As toolpaths are gouge checked during calculation, the only safe option is for power mill to not apply leads in these areas. We can try to resolve this by experimenting with other lead options, which may or may not give the desired result. Or we could manually trim the toolpath back, creating the space needed for the leads to be applied using the toolpath editing. But this is likely to take a lot of time, and it's not an easy thing to get right. Thankfully, with this latest release of Power Mill, the trimming of the toolpath can now be automated using the new trim segments option. Let's activate this next toolpath, open its settings, and look at the leads and leaks section. Noticing that the trim segments option is checked on. Closing the form and reviewing the same area as before, we can now see the toolpath has automatically been trimmed to allow the space needed to safely apply the leads. The area that has been left unmachined due to the automatic trimming can be addressed using an additional toolpath such as corner finishing. In the second example, we are machining a fillet on the inside of a part where two holes intersect using a spherical tip cutter. Notice the first toolpath has a safety status icon that is red. It could contain gouges or unsafe moves. As we did before, let's look at the leads and links in the settings. And we can see that a horizontal arc with a 3mm radius and a 45 degree angle has been set. Closing the form and reviewing the toolpath, we can see that these leads have not been applied. By attaching the tool, we can see as before there's not enough room for the leads. Additionally, if we simulate, you can see the tool retracts at the end of the segment which happens to be through the part, making it unsafe. When using the trim segment option, which has been used for the second toolpath, if the leads and links cannot be applied, then a systematic process is applied, attempting to use other lead options or trimming of the toolpath to try and rectify the issue. In this situation, a lead extension has been automatically applied and trimming has occurred, allowing for the tool to now safely retract. With this addition of automatic segment trimming to power mill, the likelihood of hazardous toolpaths being produced is greatly reduced. This saves time and reduces the need for manual toolpath checking and editing, giving you greater confidence in the safety of your NC machining code.